hello everybody and welcome back to my channel today i'm really excited because i'm going to be doing um a little eyeshadow tutorial using one of my absolute all-time favorite eyeshadow palettes um this is the nudie number no. two from laura lee los angeles and i cannot wait to go ahead and dive into this look that i'm going to create off the top of my head so without further ado let's go ahead and get started okay so today like i said we're going to be doing an eyeshadow tutorial and i'm going to be using um my favorite go-to like soft glam neutral base pinky tones just so beautiful it's very romantic um, and this is the Nudie Number no. 2 by Laura Lee Los Angeles. I highly, highly recommend her um, brand. She has some amazing palettes. Um, I have this one from her collection. This is her recent nude one. And then I also have her original. It's called the um, Nudie Patootie. And it looks like this. It's much larger. So this is the Nudie Patootie by Laura Lee Los Angeles. And it looks like this. Very pretty very very easy to work with tones for someone who's just starting out in makeup or you can even do some very very glam looks with this um and then the one that we're using today is the nudie number no. two and this is my absolute favorite one and it looks like this please excuse the fact that i dug my nail through it the shadow is still okay so this is the nudie number no. two and then I just recently got her newest collaboration with her and her niece, Erin. Um, this is the Candy Skies by Laura Lee and Erin Weaver. And it is so beautiful. It is just the perfect summer palette. So pretty. The formula on these are just incredible. The shimmers are so smooth and buttery. And the mattes are like very buttery as well. Very, very soft and they're not chalky. Um, I'm going to be doing a tutorial with this one coming up very soon as well. But today I wanted to do like my first real eye look tutorial, just this, um, with my favorite go-to. I use this palette pretty much anytime I'm just trying to like swipe something on my face real quick and then just go out the door. Um, you can do so much with this. So I'm going to shut up now and we're going to go ahead and get started. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to prime and set my eyelids. So I'm going to take my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and I'm going to take a little bit of that and put that on my eye. And remember I said in my last video, or if you hadn't seen that video, I will link it down below. Um, we do this, I say we, I don't know why. I do this because it helps me um, get a very seamless base and just have a nice base to start on. And it cancels out any discoloration or veins. I have very, very veiny eyes. And I'm just taking my um, beauty sponge to this and then it cancels out any of that discoloration and just gives everything a nice seamless base for a starting point. So I'm just going to do that very, very quickly. You can always add more if you need to. And I'm going to do the other eye. And you can go all the way up to your brow. It does not matter how high you want to take it. It just depends on how high you're going to take your look. And since I have stated I have glasses, I take mine pretty high just so that you can see it. Um, all right, and then the, right before we go ahead and apply, I'm going to take a, this is called an Instapop shade brush from Real Techniques um, brushes. I'm going to use this to set my eyes so they don't crease. And I'm just using my Nikia Joy Cosmetics Velvet uh, Setting Powder. I'm just going to take a little bit of this. And lots of powder just came up. And I'm just going to place that on the eye just to set it down so there's no creasing or caking up on my eyelid. Again, none of this is supposed to really have a ton of pigment. It will just cancel out the discoloration on my eyes. All right. So that's all we have to do. So now I'm going to actually go ahead and get started with the eyeshadow palette. And so for the first thing I'm going to do, I am going to take, let's see, I'm going to use my Morphe and Jeffree Star JS8 blending brush. And I'm just going to first start with, um, we're going to do patootie right here. I'm going to start with that nice chocolatey brown color. Very pretty. I'm going to start with that. I'm gonna take just a little bit of it. There it is on the brush. And I'm gonna tap that off. 
so I get rid of any of that excess. And I'm going to start by placing that right here in the crease and just building that up and taking it up just a little bit as a transition as well. So just like this, you can take it up as high as you want. I am going to place another color there just to have a little more of a transition, but I'll probably do that towards the end. So I'm just using windshield wiper motions and going right there in my socket or the crease, just like so. So you can see with the patootie shade, my normal natural eye with nothing on it. Okay, I'm going to take just a little bit more of that and build it up just a little bit right there in that crease. Remember, you can always build, but you, it's really hard to be able to take something away. So you start out with little, and then you can always add more. Okay, and the way I'm going to do this video is I'm going to do it all on one eye, and then I'm going to do the other eye off camera. So this isn't like a 40-minute video. I'm really trying to work on having shorter videos so that, you know, more people would be inclined to watch them. So I'm just going to do this eye, which is my better eye, and then I'll come back with this eye done and then my face also probably done. So then I'm going to take, on that same brush, I'm going to take the shade Bum, which is that really, really pretty peachy shade very summery. I love that shade. We're going to take that shade, just a little bit on the brush, tap that off, and I'm going to put that above so I can start transitioning that. And just have a smoother, more blown out edge, just like so. Like I said, I take mine pretty high. If you don't want it to be this high, you can make it a little less pow. And remember, I also always start with my eyes first because I get messy and I get them all under my eyes and I just kind of make it big and then I can clean it up at the end. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that brush aside and I'm going to grab the E23 from my Blinged Brushes and Page Corin collaboration. And I'm going to take the shade Low Cut, which is this darker... Um, this darker chocolatey brown color with a, it's got a little bit of a hint of a red, like warmer undertone. So I'm going to take a little bit of that and tap off that excess. And I'm going to start placing this right there at the outer V and just packing that on first. I'm just going to pack that and I'm going to do multiple dip ins, um, so I can build that pigment up just like so. You can see the, the definition there is a little different. I'm going to take just a little more and stamp that in. And I'm just going to like the, just like a third of the way in. And then I'm going to start blending that out with this brush into the crease, blending it down to my lower or my lash line here. Just like so. And so that you can see there's a, you can see that peachy color, that first color, and then you can see that this is a little more darker brown. If you want that to be more noticeable, you can just build that pigment up some more. So I'm going to take it just a little bit more, and I'm just going to stamp that in. But this is not my darkest shade that I'm going to use, so just wait. So I'm going to build that up, just like that. You can bring it into the crease and start building that definition there. Just like so. So now, I said it's not the darkest shade. So I'm going to put this brush to the side. And I'm going to grab, let's see, is this the same brush? No. I'm going to take an E21. And yes, it has pink pigment, but it should be okay. Um, because this is, I'm going to take the Risqué shade right here. This is a very purpley, plummy type shade right here. Very, very beautiful. If you can see it, it's super, super soft. I'm going to take a little bit of this. See that much? I'm going to tap all that off so it's a lot less intense. So now I'm going to take this, and this is a little bit smaller and not as fanned out. I'm going to take this and place it in that corner where we just put that brown shade and laid it down. But I'm just going to stamp it lightly to add that purpley deepness. I can always add more. 
So right now I'm gonna look a little crazy. You can see right there that that's very different. Okay, so now I'm gonna take that brush and I'm gonna just gently start to flick that out and fan it into my crease, just like so, and building it up. If you get a little too sloppy with it, that's okay. Like I brought it down just a little too much for what I'm going for today. Um, but I'm gonna clean that up at the end. I'm just gonna stamp that. I'm gonna bring that in a little. Just like so. So I kind of look like I have black eye over on this side. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the brush I was just using. And I'm gonna mix that shade, that those two brown shades, the low cut and the patootie shade. I'm gonna mix those two shades together and tap it off. And I'm just gonna blend those into the crease so we have a nice blend of all of those colors together and help soften up that deep purple so it's not like, boom, I have a black eye. So I'm gonna do this. You have to just trust the process, guys. You gotta trust the process. And I wanna also reiterate, you don't have to have this palette. I do highly recommend this palette, but you can use any palette. You can have one from the drugstore. Elf has some really good ones. Um, I don't own this palette, but it is on my radar. I think it's sold at Target, at least here where I live. Um, it's like the, not Profusion, but Makeup Revolution. Um, they have a palette very, very similar to this, and there's even more colors. So you can go use something like that, or you can just use whatever neutrals you have on hand. You don't have to go buy this. But I do recommend it if you have the money and you want to splurge on something, great palette. So I'm going to stop rambling now and I'm going to keep building that up, flicking it out, going up above my crease and just really blending all of those colors together because it's really all about the blending. So you can see I've got it definitely more smoky out here. So I'm going to take that Jeffree Star Morphe brush, my very first brush, and I'm going to dip back into that peach shade and I'm going to use this to help buff and not make such a harsh line and just kind of blend those colors together like so. And if it lightens it up too much, you can always add those darker shades back. So right now, this is what we have. Sorry, my, my lights are shifting with the daylight. So right now, this is what I have. I'm gonna clean up that in a minute, but before we do, I'm gonna add a shimmer. So. I'm thinking on what shimmer I want to use. Hmm. I'm thinking I'm going to use, uh, I really want to use a different shade, but the shade Cheeky right here is like just so stunning. I use this one a lot. Let me swatch that for you and show you. There it is just on my finger. I mean, come on, so freaking pretty. I'm just going to swatch that on my hand here just to show you. Oh, that's a terrible angle. Maybe you can see that. Let me try that somewhere else because that's terrible. Um, let me try it right here. There we go. Oh, it's just so beautiful and it just glistens. It's such a beautiful coppery pink shade. Um, but I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this more brown. And then if I want to go back and add that pink shade, I can. I'm going to take this shade Nudie, this one right here. Um, and on this, it's a nice, beautiful, just like gold, coppery, like, shade. And it looks like that. So there's that one right there. There's, there. Here's a good angle right here. Here's a better angle of that cheeky. And then here's that, um, this is the nudie shade right there. It's so pretty. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to put that nudie shade on it like that. And I'm just going to tap that right in the inner third of my eye just like so and I'm using my finger because it will give more pigment payoff and like what that means is like it's just going to be more of a punch um, you can use a brush um, I do recommend if you use a brush to wetten it because again it's like using your finger it just makes it much more emollient and then you it gives a lot more powerful wet look if any of that makes sense okay so I'm going to put that there and start blending that into those colors. So there's what I have so far. And then I'm going to just go ahead and dip in just a little bit into that cheeky shade. And I'm just going to feather in that pinky shade with it. 
just like so. And if it gets a little sloppy, that's okay. We can clean it up. And then, um, let me grab my makeup wipe. I'm gonna clean off my finger. And all the swatches on my hand. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take that Jeffree Star brush and I'm just going to flick that back and forth just to clean up some of that glitter. Just like so. And then you will see I do have some glitter fallout. There's glitter fallout right there. So I'm just gonna take my makeup wipe and I'm just gonna clean that up. It's very, very common for shimmery glittery shades to have fallout. I don't really mind it. It's just more of a personal, personal preference. It doesn't really bother me. That's why I do my eyes first. So I can just clean that up. And now you can see I have a much sharper edge. So there is the eye look there. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly hop off camera and I'm gonna do the other eye and then we'll put mascara on and I'll probably go ahead and finish my base as well. And I have a few products I also wanna demo in this video that's not eyeshadow, so I will be right back. Okay, so now that the rest of my makeup is done, I went ahead and did the other eye here and then I just added um, my uh, L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise, I believe this is L'Oreal, I think. There's no actual thing on here that says L'Oreal, but I'm pretty sure it's L'Oreal Lash Paradise. Um, and I added that for my mascara only on the top because I literally have like two lower lash lashes on both of my eyes. And since this eye waters, there's no reason to put anything down there. So that's what's on for my mascara. And then for my base, um, I will just link all of that below. But I did want to try this out with you guys. So I just got this in the mail today. Very, very excited because it was the only... This was one of the only products I was able to get because it was limited edition and it had sold out by the time I got on the website. So this is the Jaclyn Cosmetics, big shocker, Jaclyn Cosmetics Hot Tropics collection that is limited edition. I think it launched last week and like all of it sold out within like two or three hours. Um, but this is the putty highlighter. Yeah, the putty highlighter in glazed out and I am very excited about it. So this is what it looks like. It's literally just so beautiful. I wish my light would quit changing. So beautiful. And it is so soft. I will say I have swatched it, but I haven't used it on my face. It is so buttery and just like, it's not like any other highlighter formula I have. Like it's, it's creamy, but not too creamy. And it's, it's definitely not powdery on the top of my hand. It's literally, I mean, Look at it. Look at it. It's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. And it's just so, it's like melting into the skin on my hand here. It's so, it just, it's like moisturizing almost. Oh, look at that. Just like a beautiful like summer glow. And I'm going to put it on my face. So I'm very excited. So I'm going to I'm going to test it out by trying one side of my face with my finger and then I'm going to try the other side by applying it with my blinged brushes. Um, this is the Precision Highlighter brush. So I'm going to try this side with my finger and if it doesn't blend out well then I'll try like the brush and we'll just see. So I'm going to take just that much. I'm just going to pop that on. Oh my gosh. Right there on the high points of my face where the sun would hit me. Oh, it just like melts. It just melts into my skin. So with the finger, now granted, I didn't actually have that much because I rubbed most of it on the back of my hand, but I can definitely say with the finger, it's more of a light. Oh, there we go. Never mind. Never mind. I just needed to build it up a little. Wow. I mean, my gosh. If you want to glow, this is how you glow, guys. This is, oh my gosh. Like, my skin just looks so wet. Oh, that's so beautiful. Okay, I'm going to take this same highlighter on my highlighter brush. This is what I use for every highlighter. Um, I'm going to take some on that. I'm just going to apply that on this side. Okay, yeah, definitely, definitely gives off pigment, but it's a little more subtle, I feel like. And I swirled the, like, the brush in there. So if you want a little less boom in your face, Definitely use like a brush. You can see that right there on my skin. And then if you want to be seen from Mars, 
or to Mars, from space, whatever. If you want to be seen somewhere, you can definitely build this up and it's so much nicer to use your finger in my personal opinion because I like to glow. So I'm going to take a little bit on my finger and apply that to this side and I'm just like barely pressing my skin. Just barely pressing it. Just like so. Oh my goodness. Oh, that is so stunning. Ah! So exciting. Okay, I'm just going to take a little bit of what's left and just highlight the center points of my face. Take it down my nose. Put it on my chin, on my cupid's bow. It's a cute look. Oh, it's so freaking pretty. Okay. All right, so I really like that. I can't wait to keep using that. And then the other thing I did get from that collection, which is on my lips, I put it on and I totally forgot to mention. This is the Jaclyn Cosmetics uh, Lip Oil in the shade Clear Crystal Drip. So this is just a clear lip oil. Um, not too sticky. It's very, very lightweight. You hardly notice it there. And it just gives your lips a nice shine and like really moisturizes them. You can wear this. Um, this is just on my natural lip color. Or you can wear it on top of a lipstick or a liquid lip. A lip liner. It doesn't matter. So I'm going to finish the look off by putting on some setting spray. And then we will be good to go. So I'm going to take... You know what? Let's try this. I might regret it. I've only used this one time and it was kind of a lot, but this is the Revolution Makeup Revolution London. This is the Glass Shimmer Fix Iridescent Fixing Spray. And there are glitter particles in here, like the whole thing is, I guess I should put it in view. See that glitter? Oh, so beautiful. But this is going to go on my skin. So I don't know if I'm going to like this, but I've only used it one time and that was forever ago. So I'm going to shake it up. I'm going to spray it on, like, the makeup. Oh, there, okay. Yeah, it does leave some shimmer. So I'm just going to spray this. Just like so. <laughs> Gosh. Okay. So it does leave shimmer because I have shimmer on my shirt. Um, but, oh, look at the highlighter. Look at it. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm just, like, obsessed. Okay. So it doesn't look like the shimmer, like, it's there. But because I already have so much shimmer on my face, like it's not super noticeable, I don't mind it. It's not my favorite setting spray based off of this what like real first impression. But it's really as as long as it keeps my makeup set in place, that's all that really matters. So it's kind of personal preference if you want those glitter pieces on your face. But there is my finished eye look, which is why you are here. So I will close my eyes so you can see. And yeah, so hopefully this was fun. Maybe you liked it. Maybe you'll go home and try it out on yourself, finding um, palettes that you already have. Or I really suggest going to drugstore. You don't have to have these palettes. Um, just let me know if you create anything. Please tag yourself or tag me in uh, your look on Instagram or Facebook or anything like that. Um, or you can put that picture down below in the comment section. And I'm just so happy that I was able to do this video today. Yeah. So thanks guys for hanging out with me today. Bye. <laughs>